Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bob and Fishy. Welcome to my new series. This is a randomizer of Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, if you guys don't know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Heart Gold is my favorite Pokemon game. And we're randomizing the heck out of it, man. Um, but it's still the same game, so it's still all the nostalgia for me, plus all like the just amazing gameplay. Um, now, if you guys don't know what Pokemon Heart Gold is, it's a remake of the original Gold version, but with a lot of elements taken from Crystal version, uh, which is a really, really, really good game. Um, got amazing rival characters and, you know, just other characters in general. Um, and basically, this is the game that really made me uh, come back to Pokemon, the Heart Gold, that is. Um, I stopped playing for a while, and, uh, yeah, this is what made me want to start playing again. So, um... What is this randomizer? Well, basically, we randomized... If you guys don't know what a randomizer is, it's uh, it's basically you just kind of make uh, elements of the game random. Um, we randomized um, Pokemon. Like, you know, all the Pokemon that you could potentially get. All, uh, all the items that you can pick up. The moves that Pokemon learn. Abilities that the Pokemon get. And most importantly for this, the types that random Pokemon will be. So, basically... If I get a Charmander, there's no guarantee that it will be a fire type. It could potentially be a water type. And if it is a water type, it could potentially evolve into, say, water slash grass. And I could have the other two, you know, elements of the of the type chart in my Charmander instead of a fire. Um, now, the starters are going to be random. All the Pokemon that I run into are going to be random. Um, I have it set so that uh, Pokemon will kind of be in my relative ballpark in terms of strength as I go, um, in theory anyway. Also, um, Pokemon will kind of just be in, um, what'd you go? Oh, you know, it basically, it's very similar to my other one, except for um, the, the types being changed up. Anyways, hmm, interesting, huh? Oh, excuse me, sorry, I was just reading this book here. It's Professor Oak! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. The, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And there's a Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What's he got to say? Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Uh, tell me. Won't you please tell me? I'm a guy, so, you know. As you do. Please tell me your name. Okay, so we are Bob. Let's see. Lowercase O. Uppercase B. And, okay. So, let's see, your name is Bob. Yes. Bob, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's no, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Guys, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Anyways, yeah, we are gonna have to um, go ahead and do that. So, let's go ahead and go down the stairs. And what's our mom got to say? Hi, Bob. You're finally awake. Your friend Le uh, I'm guessing this is pronounced Lyra, maybe Lyra, but I'm going to go with Lyra. Was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where his lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Oh yeah, we got a bag. This is your trainer card. Oh, we got a trainer card. Here, you can save a record of your progress. There, these are also rather helpful. Options. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to, uh, to do in no time. Okay, cool. So, um, we are using a controller, so we're gonna use all this. But, um, yeah, or uh, we can also use the touch screen. I'm just not gonna. Anyways, okay, so, oh, there's the Meryl. So, Lyra's gonna be here in a sec. Now oh, there she is. I see her. Maha. 
So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna name all the Pokemon we catch after people from the Pika chat. So, uh, Robotnik, uh, Gargleflop, Chris, uh, Duffy, all those guys. So, we need to go, oh, here's our rival guy. Let's go talk to him. Whoop. Dot, dot, dot. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon lab. What? What are you staring at? Kick. And what a jerk. Anyway, we're naming him after Otto. Because my friend Otto has red hair. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Professor Elm. Huh, me? I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. If you didn't know, the professor's always in the back of the room. I was just wondering if I would get anything for free. Hi, Bob. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Okay, here we go. We're gonna choose a Pokemon, guys. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? We Can we count on you? There's that. You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose one of the Pokemon over there. Um, I'm gonna base this almost entirely off of looks because nothing else matters, like, stat-wise. Here we go. So let's see. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. Oh, I touched it. Ooh, it's a Porygon. Porygon, the fire-type Pokemon, is in this Pokeball. Okay, so Porygon's a fire type. Interesting. Let's see what else we got. Starly, the normal type Pokemon, is in this po- Ah, oh, Star Starly got stuck being normal. Bomber. And let's see what else. Wait. Totodile, the poison type Pokemon, is in this Pokemon. Okay, guys. So we gotta choose Starly. Oh, man, this is actually a really, really tough choice, honestly. I do love me some Porygon. Uh, and I actually have it set so that he can evolve, I think. Um, I'm fairly certain I did that. Uh, we also got Totodile, uh, who's a, you know, a pretty beast, uh, you know, guy when he turns into Alligator. The only thing is, Poison is a really bad typing. And Normal is just super duper boring. Let's go with Porygon. Let's get that fire type Porygon up in here. Let's go for it, guys. And we'll, we'll see what kind of moves we get. Bob received the Porygon from Professor Elm. Yeah! So we're gonna name this thing, and we gotta name this robot because he's my broski. Uh, O, B, O, T. So, uh, Robotnik, um, I always call him Robot, but, uh, yes. Um, Robotnik is sexy, he's another YouTuber. He's got about 800 subscribers, and he's my, he's my friend. Uh, anyways. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take all of the... Uh, okay, so we're gonna go all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use, just check the PC on my desk. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. Let's go. So I've got this... Oh, neat. Aid, what do you got to say? Uh, Bob, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Oh, we got potions. Okay, very cool. So this is gonna be really good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what Porygon's got going on. So, um, quirky nature, I think that's neutral. Um, ability, intimidate, that's actually, whoa, look at that physical attack on this thing. Holy cow. So, if we can get some, like, flare blitz or something going on, that'd be rad. Anyway, what, uh, he's just fire type. So, he's got some normal moves, some fire moves, very, very cool. Um, his special attack isn't amazing. But, still, that's pretty rad. Very cool, guys. Okay, so we're happy with this. So, let's go ahead and start on our way to the next town. Oh, there's Lyra. What's she got to say? Um, Bob, so you picked a Porygon. 
That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and ask it some er, and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. I'll show you. Nah, no, I'm kidding. That's a good idea. Uh, anyways, okay. Porygon, me and you, man. Space Duck. Um, you know, I couldn't name this after uh, anybody that's in the chat, but I like Robot, so. Anyways, oh, Bob, that's a cute Pokemon there. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when, it, uh, when someone makes that kind of request on you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poke, uh, Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Yeah, we received a Poke Gear. So we're getting we're getting all our options on there. The Poke Gear, uh, uh, the Pokemon Gear or Poke Gear, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button. Okay. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yeah. Okay, okay, poor guy. Me and you, man. We're gonna go. We're gonna go uh, explore. Explore the world. So, whoop. Wait one second. Oh no, we're gonna wait a second. What's he gonna say? Oh golly, I almost completely forgot about this. Here you go, I'll give you my number. Bob registered Professor Elm in the Poke Gear. Oh yeah. I'll call you if anything comes up. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna see that a lot. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep going. So me and my Porygon. You excited, Porygon? Ah, uh, let's go. Me and you. So this guy's a beast physical attacker. We'll see if he gains a secondary typing as we go. Hopefully he does, that'd be kinda cool. Anyway, what do we got? We got a Spearo. Okay, wonder what type this Spearow is. Let's throw a fire move at him. There's our Intimidate. Oh, that's gonna be super useful. Um, so I have it set so that, generally speaking, Pokemon will keep their um, their own uh, abilities as they go, but it can potentially change. Oh, and that was super effective on that Spearow. Interesting. So, you know what, we're gonna actually go ahead and put, um, what you call it, Ember is our lead move. I I don't know why I left Fire Spin there. And we'll actually put Scratch as our second one. Just because it's probably the uh, the best other move that we've got. So let's go ahead and keep going. Now we're going to kind of be, you know, wrecked if there are any, um, what you call it, like rock types that we run into. I don't know why I said it like that, but rock. But yeah, if we run into any rock types, that would be kind of bad news. Let's see what we're up against. Ah, another Spearow. So, these things are weak to fire. Keep that in mind, guys. Look at that. Intimidate. Oh, we're so intimidating. So that means he's either bug, grass, um, steel. That'd be kind of cool. Steel type uh, Spearow. That'd be really cool, honestly. Oh, there's a Pokeball up here. Okay, so we've got items randomized, guys. Let's see what this is. A pinup berry. I don't know what that does. Let's actually check what that does while we're at it. I don't think we're going to find... Let's see. The center region, they like to make sweet... Oh, okay, so it's a Poffin Berry. Good to know. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be lucky and find leftovers like right early on in this in this Let's Play. But hopefully, we can find uh, all sorts of other good items. Maybe a Choice Band or something? Scarf actually would be amazing. Um, so let's see if there are... I don't remember if there are any items up here. I also don't remember if this person wants to fight. Let's find out. Whoop. We got, we got a, a wild Pokemon encounter. Oh, a Pidgey. Well, let's see what Pidgey's got going on. He looks kind of angry. Anyways, let's see. Got that Intimidate off. Ember. Come on, be, be super duper effective. Ooh, it's neutral, it looks like. I guess maybe he's a flying type. Interesting. Because he went for Peck there. So let's go for Scratch. And we'll see if that's neutral. Critical hit. Hey, so it's neutral. So, interesting. Well, I guess it would be. If, uh, if fire's neutral, then... Let's see. Yeah, if fire's neutral, then normal has to be... Uh... Does it have to be neutral? Or... It at least isn't going to be super effective. Or, I mean, it's not going to be not very effective. If, because... Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Sorry, trying to get my thoughts together. Okay, so let's go ahead and go this way. We'll talk to this guy. We're actually almost there, so let's see what you got to say. I'm waiting for a Pokemon that appear only in the morning. Oh yeah, it's like 10, uh, 10 p.m. It's an apricorn tree. Since there's nothing to put it in, there's no reason to take it. Okay, so I, I need a apricorn pouch or something. So I think there's... Is there an item down here? No. Dang. Uh, did you see those ledges? It's scary to jump off them, but you can go to New Bark Town without walking through tall grass. Good to know. So let's keep going. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, because I, I think we got a bunch of other stuff to do in the next one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Later!